Hey guys, Russ here with bishopswest.com. Um, it's been a long, crazy day. So I'm just going to show you a couple of really fairly straightforward things, but maybe not completely obvious when you first start working with Bitwig Studio. Um, so I've shown you in the past uh, at least one video, maybe two or three, how to do side chaining. In this one, though, I wanted to bring up doing side chaining with third-party plugins in Bitwig Studio is a little bit different. So I just wanted to kind of show you quickly how to do that tonight. So I've got my mix here. I've got just a couple samples brought in. I've got my drum machine. Um, and all I've done is set up a kick in there. So just a basic kick. And then down here, um, just got a dark bass going. Just one of the samples. And so you can already hear, so let's do them together. Uh, it's got that side chaining going so what I've got going on is I've got my mix group and then within that my drums my barefoot kit and then I've got this side chain compress group and within that I've got the bass and then another sample that I'll show you in a minute okay so on the side chain compressed that's where I've got my compressor and it's side chained using the kick from the barefoot kick as the trigger I've shown you how to do that in the past with just the compressor or um, the dynamics within um, Bitweek Studio, just the native stuff. But in this case, um, where did I put it? I've actually got a different, the L phase multi band from Cakewalk, which is taking the input. You can see here I've got it set to external. It's taking the input from, again, the trigger from the barefoot kick, that kick there. Okay, and so you can see it as it's going. You can see it, it's compressing with the trigger from the kick drum. You can see it down here at the threshold and the gain too. So in order to do that, here's the thing that's not obvious. You gotta look for this little thing, this little icon right here. And that's where you show your, what's gonna, it's gonna show what you're using as your trigger. So you click that and then here you can click, and it's just like before with the sidechain with the native plugins, choose where you wanna go. So barefoot kick, and then again, I'm using the pre just in case I wanna mute that. Like before I had it muted, you were able to still hear that pumping because I was using the pre, even though this was muted or this was soloed, whichever it was. Okay, so if you listen to that and mute this, right but I just want to make room for the kick down there below 150 or so okay so that's that piece of it now um, that's fairly straightforward like I said pretty easy there's a different kind of plugin though that uses it's not technically side chaining, it's actually taking input from a MIDI track and using that to control the plugin. So, a good example of that is, um, yeah, right here, the manipulator from Polyverse, done by Infected Mushroom. One of my favorite, just weird, wacky, fun um, plugins. So, just to play with that a little bit. So, is that working now? You got it there? So, is that. So is that working now? Got it there? So is that working now? You got it there? So is that, you got it there? All kinds of different stuff you can do there. Let's find a good one. Oh, let's hold it on that. So to use this, like I said, it takes a MIDI input. What I need to do then is set up a separate MIDI track. Oops, not that way. Just control T for track and that control, control T just gives you an instrument track. And on this track, I'll just make it the same color just for the sake of organization. Um, 
why not rename it? What I'm going to do is down here where it shows the inputs and outputs, I'm going to say I don't want this to go to the master. I don't want it to be putting any sound out at all. So I'm not going to have an instrument on there or anything. I'm just going to take it to down here. You see it says plugins. And in my mix sidechain compress working now, there's the manipulator plugin. So that's how you kind of have to navigate to where that's going to um, send the notes. So once I do that, now, and I'll solo it, why not? If I click on this track just to get that up again, but I test my MIDI, you can see over here when I press a note, it's it's showing that it's um, receiving that note and sending it through. And then over here, um, every plugin is going to be different, but you can see from the little mouth thingy here that it's receiving MIDI there too. So now when I play, So is that working now? You got it there. So is that working now? You got it there. So is that working now? You got it there. So is that working now? You got it there. So is that working now? You got it there. So is that working now? You got it there. So is that working now? You got it there. So is that working now? You got it there. So is that working now? You got it there. So is that working now? You got it there. So is that working now? You got it there. So is that working now? You got it there. So is that working now? You got it there. So is that working now? You got it there. So is that working now? You got it there. So is that working now? You got it there. So is that working? And I was looking, there we go. Just looking for at least one before it's got the mod wheel. So is that working now? You got it. Is that working now? You got it. So is that working now? You got it there. No, you got it there. So is that working now? Yeah. You got it there. So is that working now? So there you go. That's just, <laughs> sorry, I got carried away there. But um, just wanted to show you, that's how you go about setting it up so that you can use MIDI as the trigger or the modifier for whatever plugin you have that might use that. Um, hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, definitely leave it down in the comments section below. I always enjoy hearing from you guys. It's it's one of the brighter points of my day. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Why not? It's one click. And if you want to see more from me, definitely click that subscribe button. Um, the other thing is, don't forget, I've got that free guide for you. It's called Accelerate Your Music Making in Bitwig Studio. Um, just a few quick tips on how to get Bitwig set up so that you can get right to making music quickly, not have to worry about going through some of the basic steps every time you open up Bitwig Studio. bishopswest.com slash bitwig setup. Again, that's bishopswest.com slash bitwig setup. It's down in the comments below too. Um, go there, download it. It's my free gift to you, so why not? Other than that, I think that's it. Hope you guys have a great day. Um, just check in anybody in the chat. Oh, okay, have a great day and I will see you next time.